What is up, Berserkers? Eldenward Berserker here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be doing my review of the first two episodes of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians TV show. Now, before we get started on the review, I know this is a completely different setup than what we're used to, because usually I'd be filming upstairs with the phone on the tripod facing the laptop, and that's how I film most of my videos. Sometimes, for shorts, I'd film in different locations. However, for the time being, and also to make sure that this cutie patootie doesn't get into things that he's not supposed to, I'm going to hold the phone, have that face the TV for whatever video idea I'm going to be doing, and... Yeah, this is not going to be permanent, but this is only going to be temporary for the time being because I'm keeping my eye on a puppy and I also make sure I want to get some videos done. So I know that took longer than it was supposed to, so let's get started on the review for episode one. So almost immediately, two seconds in, and it's already better than the entirety of the Percy Jackson movies. Yeah, that's kind of roasting the Percy Jackson movies a bit, but you do got to admit, the Percy Jackson movies was were kind of awful. Even though the first one got me into the books, that was really good, and my book knowledge for Percy Jackson's like going to be a bit rusty at times, so if you're a fan of the Percy Jackson books, bear with me on some of it, because... I don't know if I'm going to fuck it up or not. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. In the books, and even in the crappy movie, um, Miss Dodds gets Percy alone, and then she turns into the Fury. Now, in the show, they do that outside the museum. Yeah, outside the museum, out in the open, and then Percy kills Miss Dodds almost immediately. Like, I wish episode one was a bit longer, because that way you won't have to rush everything. But I feel like in episode one, they just kind of rushed it. They kind of rushed it, and I didn't like that as much. Even though it's a better Percy Jackson adaptation than the movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then... I don't like that Grover kicks out Percy. Like, I'm not sure if he did that in the books. I don't know. Let me know if he does that in the comment section down below. Because <laughs> my book knowledge for Percy Jackson's like kind of a bit rusty again. But, um, yeah, I don't like that they may or they had Grover do that. <laughs> I don't know. And then. The portrayal of Gabe. <laughs> they just made him like a deadbeat loser dad instead of an abusive alcoholic. Because in the books, he was an abusive alcoholic. But in the show, he was just like a normal deadbeat loser dad who's funny in some occasions. But... I don't think Gabe was supposed to be funny, but I think some of his stuff's actually funny, but I don't know. Ah, black screen, black screen. There we go. All right. Now we're back. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then I don't know why they gave the Minotaur underwear. Like... What the actual fuck? Why why they gave the Minotaur underpants? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I know this is only the first episode, but they kind of rushed a lot of it. And I honestly wish it was longer. I wish it was longer because in TV shows, it kind of allows you breathing room to like have us take it all in. 
but I don't know what was going on. I don't know if the writers decided to like, hey, let's rush the entire thing where Percy Jackson fights Miss Dodds. Like, come on. Really? This is a show, not a movie. Allow some breathing room. So, yeah, and I'm going to give this episode um, a 6 out of 10. Better than the movies. Some of it was rushed. And, yeah, so now let's review the second episode. Now, the second episode of the show was really better. We actually see Clarice, where, where she was supposed to be, and not shoehorning her in. Unlike in the second movie where the writers of the Sea of Monsters movie kind of like shoehorned her in as an apology to the fans. Yeah, I like that they added her in immediately because that happened in the books. And she was about to give Percy a swirly, but <laughs> with Percy's powers from Poseidon, like, made her all wet. And that's... Uh, that was one of the funniest moments in the show. I like that Annabeth has her invisibility cap. We didn't get that in the movies, but we got that in the Percy Jackson show, which is absolutely, positively amazing. And I don't know. Another thing in the second episode that's like, Good, but not great, is that some people have to, like, tell Percy Jackson, like, what the heck that is, or who the heck that's supposed to be, and all that stuff. I don't know. I hope as the show progresses that Percy Jackson, like, learns stuff or knows stuff on his own and not having people tell him, well, I guess you can count Annabeth pushing Percy Jackson in the water as him kind of self discovering that he is the son of Poseidon and yeah I like the battle he has with Clarice and where he <laughs> where he beats her at the capture the flag game that they have at Camp Half-Blood and I like the show's version of Camp Half-Blood better than the movie version where everyone's wearing the orange t-shirts. I just think that that's amazing. I like the detail in some of the cabins, even though we only saw like the Hermes cabin. And I also like the detail in the Poseidon cabin. That was awesome. And... Yeah, and I'm going to give this episode, I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10, even better than the first episode, and and it gives breathing room, actually, for Camp Half-Blood and Percy exploring it. That's, that's what I like to see in a TV show. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, sub if you're new, or if you're more curious about the channel. I'm currently trying to make it to 300 subs, and once we make it to 300, I'm gonna do a vocal cover of Face to Face by Sizz and Soldier, and yeah. All right, once again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Sub if you're new, or if you're more curious. Like the video, comment your thoughts, Comment also comment if I got any details from the book wrong, and yeah, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.